Welcome to this video. Continuation of the former video. Ancestral markers in disfavor of consensus. Further, surprisingly none of the most important ancestral markers confirms the above two suppositions needed and supported by consensus. For reasons that I do not, need to, understand, consensus and the media do not seem to mention the ancestral markers at all, nor that most ancestral markers point to the Americas and the Amerindians as the origin of all humans. Instead of seeing this lack of Neanderthal DNA as a paradigm, instead of recognizing we negated the most important scientific markers, consensus etc. has chosen to turn some of these paradigms into some kind of victory for humans, a kind of proof of the superiority of, certain, humans against other or compared to other not well-defined groups of humans, animals, and other biodiversity. Such an approach would not be a scientific approach at all. Such an approach and the polarization it can cause is the last thing we need if we ever want to. 1. Solve the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and 2. Solve the perfect storm we are warned of by important health organizations and other important parties. Such an approach could be seen by future generation as very poor criticism and very poor science, and even as a kind of scientific bribing. If you all close your eyes for several clear paradigms, you can, go on to, call and declare yourselves the smartest and fittest of all, and, go on doing business as usual, at all cost. The claim of us supposed modern humans, and supposed more evolved humans, being the smartest or the fittest is not at all what is confirmed by 1. The increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, that we cannot get under control and not even know to fully explain, explained in other videos, and or 2. The perfect storm, cognitive decline, autism, DNA degeneration, an expected wave of yet more epidemics, and many more, that has been increasing since 1990. Instead we should be more humble, and show more openness to compromise in cases of division and or polarization. Both assuming certain or all humans are superior, but also one, and two, and politics in general involve a high degree of division and or polarization. Ancestral DNA, mtDNA L, in South America. Furthermore and surprisingly, fossils of this ancestral DNA, mtDNA L, are found in South America. This is quite paradigmatic, since according to consensus, which claims Amerindians descend from not Amerindians, ancestral DNA should not reappear in South America, certainly not in pre-Columbian fossils, after they disappear during the supposed out-of-Africa roots, also on their way to Beringia and the Americas, and even more so after the supposed substantial drifts, kind of hypothesized evolution, which supposedly took place in Beringia. As long as there are no finds in Africa of fossil DNA that corresponds to the period that fossil DNA is found in the Americas, this by me so-called reappearance is in fact the first appearance and consequently it would not be proven to be African, but it would be a, or rather yet another, strong argument of our ancestor to be American. This would be a real indication that the supposed ancestral DNA would have migrated from the Americas to Africa and this rather recently with the earliest, proven, date corresponding to the find of such first fossils with ancestral DNA in Africa. Neanderthals carried what is supposed to not yet exist. Even more surprisingly, recently this mtDNA L is found in certain Neanderthals that obviously are much older than African, mitochondrial Eve, and certainly much older than the hypothesized out of Africa. Intermezzo Putting the date of out of Africa back thousands or hundreds of thousands of years for some good reason would not be evident at all. This is so because after all, ancestral DNA is not at all dated because of a find of a fossil that could be dated, but is dated based on genetics. You can and should put the date earlier if there would be a find of a fossil that could be dated, but in that case you would prove that the genetics used for dating the ancestor of actual DNA, or not ancient DNA, is wrong all along. Although Neanderthals were present in Europe and Western Eurasia, genetically, according to the haplotype tree, they are much more linked to the Americas, I prove this in other videos, and again fossil DNA of Neanderthals, and even fossil DNA of their sister group Denisovan, were found in South America, and clearly much less in Africa. Not so surprising, this for consensus inconvenient, but for all humans extremely important discovery, did not, yet, got much attention from consensus and the media. Neanderthals were the ancestors of humans? This above discovery, of ancestral DNA carried by Neanderthals, could suggest that Neanderthals were the ancestors of actual humans. 
Probably the general public hardly is aware that this was in fact the initial hypothesis, and remained so until after 1962, when the first Neanderthal fossils were found, some years before the most well-known publication of Charles Darwin. DNA and genetics were still unknown at that time. Later, genetics proved that the actual humans cannot descend from Neanderthals, and I fully agree with this. In other words the supposed ancestral DNA is older than the also supposed mitochondrial Eve. Why this does not discards the supposed ancestral DNA being ancestry DNA, it does discard the possibility that the supposed African mitochondrial Eve, which obviously is expected to be supposed to be African by consensus, is the ancestor of all humans, women. Further, in other words, the supposed ancestral DNA strongly indicates the Americas as the origin of all humans, and confirms what the, by consensus and media seemingly forgotten and neglected, essential, ancestral markers have been telling us and proving for a very long time already. In other videos all this is explained in more detail, and more images and important quotes of researchers, and much more relevant proofs of our origin were presented. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.